Hey guys, I am Glenn with Mr. Crafty Man and what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how to install, for lack of a better word, a uh, Freestyle Libra 2. So inside the package here, and a lot of people keep asking me where I'm getting these for $35. I get these from Walmart for $35 and I'm using a good RX card that I downloaded from the internet for free. So what I'm going to do first is open up the, the little cup that the sensor is in and it has a little line on it here. Then we'll take the injector and it has a line on it and you line those up and you stick it in. And there's a couple alcohol swabs here and we want to prepare the side that goes on the back of your arm here. And this here has got a little little needle on it. Let me make double sure it's clean. And if I do this right, which I generally do, I don't feel anything. Okay, so then we're gonna take this out. And if you I don't know if you look down inside, do you see that needle sticking out? It's kind of like an IV where once you take the applicator off the needle comes out but there's just a little wire or something left inside and this here has to be installed right in this area so what I do is I do it just like this and I'm gonna say one two three and then I give it a, a good extra push so it sticks on there and then pull it off and we've got it on there. That's it. Okay, so that's it. It goes on there that easy. And then I didn't bring uh, with me today, so I'll have to put it on at home. On Amazon, they sell these waterproof patches that go over it that are clear. And I generally put one of those on just because it, it keeps this from getting ripped off. And also, I'm kind of paranoid, and I don't want water getting into it and messing it up or anything like that. Um, one thing I've noticed about these is if you're in the hot tub or the bathtub, don't check your blood sugar as soon as you get out because the, the hot water does something to the sensor, and it'll falsely give you a high reading. Um, so wait probably about 10-15 minutes after you get out to do a reading. But now that I've stuck this on... What we have to do here, if I can get this to turn on, is I have to push start new sensor, and then I scan the sensor, and then it's telling me do not take high doses of vitamin C, more than 500 milligrams per day, per day. this may falsely raise your sensor readings. Okay, so we're gonna say okay, and then it says, in 60 minutes, the sensor is going to be all calibrated and everything. So, okay. So now I have an hour before I can start reading with this. And what this thing does for those of you who haven't seen okay. it. Oh, yeah, uh, for for okay. those who haven't seen it, is um, it will. Uh, Let's see, it will keep track. Yeah. This is an OEM part. There's, yeah. There's absolutely yeah. nothing wrong with this. This came So it'll keep track of it. Yeah. So what so while I was out there I was calling somebody. And else. we can I also I talked to Dan here. Go through he couldn't do it the logbook. The software isn't updated. So He's that is it. Thanks a lot. Bye. Yeah. So he would recommend it.